Today's program furnished by funding from Bill's Bake Shop, where smiles are everywhere. If you're craving hot dogs and more, and you're in the area, then look no farther than Coney Island, downtown Newcastle, on Kennedy Square. And you have legal issues. Paula Chalella, attorney at law, 113 North Mercer Street, Newcastle. Entrusting your loved one to a funeral director is a very personal and emotional decision. The funeral director you choose must understand the importance of the decision you have made. When you call the William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, I recognize what a privilege it is to be chosen at your time of need. We will provide you and your family with the best service possible, with sincerity and compassion. The William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, family owned and operated since 1941. Broadcasting from the greatest castle in the world, in the County of Lawrence, NCTV 45. NCTV 45, Newcastle, The Train. Good morning, Newcastle, and hopefully you're uh, waking up, and uh, as I get untangled here, it's Saturday morning. <laughs> there we go. You're waking up and uh, getting ready for a weekend, and uh, outside overcast. It is just... From the rainy, wet temperatures, uh, rainy, wet precipitation last night, the football games got in, and we're going to talk a little bit about that, and uh, just everything that's um, going on, and uh, give you a, a little of everything, sports, some weather. Here you go, 46 degrees outside, and... Uh, it is overcast, wet from uh, last night's rain, and uh, well, we'll get the weather a little bit later. Let's talk a little bit about the top stories, and as it continues to uh, face us. Uh, right here in Newcastle. COVID, yesterday's 2,219, 2, so 2,200 people test positive for COVID. That was yesterday's test. Of course, today's didn't come out. It'll come out at about 11 o'clock. And um, folks, again, don't let the virus control you. Now, at 2 o'clock today, from 2 to 4, uh, the Biden campaign will be in town. We're going to stop down and try to get some pictures for you on that. Uh, as the election uh, draws near, 12 days, I believe, and um, we're there, so... Uh, Keep that in mind, and an important thing is to get out and vote. Now, this in from the Department of Health, and uh, I wanted to... Um, Department of Health, Department of Aging highlights... Um, work of 
supporting those in long-term care facilities. And uh, this came in a little choppy. But they recognized those people that were going over and above that. And uh, keep in mind, the long-term care facilities still the major deal on the front line with this COVID. Now, that doesn't mean to say you can't get or contract it if you're out and about. But please do take the necessary precautions. Wash your hands. Practice social distancing. And wear a mask in large crowds. Especially if you go outside your bubble, so to speak, and are in with a lot of other individuals, it makes it just a lot, little bit better and a little bit easier for you not to have the problem. The Wolf Administration encouraged participation in National Prescription Take Back Day. And I cannot say how very important this is. This is one of those things where definitely on the same page as the governor. Governor Wolf and the Departments of Drug and Alcohol and Health are encouraging Pennsylvanians to advance in Take Back, and that's this Saturday. As we continue to combat COVID-19, we can't forget about Pennsylvanians in every way and we can and the drug take back day um, is a proven initiative to dispose of unwanted prescription medications says governor tom wolf that very very important make sure that you participate in that take back day and i believe um that uh, 1-800-852-HELP um, to dial that number if you need help knowing where to take that back. And I'm going to read this again. 800-662-HELP. Uh, they'll tell you where to take it back. I believe the county sheriff's office here in Lawrence County and up in Mercer County will also know. Now, uh, continuing on with Newswatch, the Department of Environmental Protection increases permitting efficiency and maintains environmental protections amid the COVID pandemic. Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection continues the efforts to maintain environmental protections and increase uh, permanent permit efficiency throughout the COVID pandemic, announcing today that staffs have taken the final action on nearly 20,000 permits since March. And uh, a lot of those folks still working from home as <coughs> the county assessment offices are still closed. Now, um, last night in high school football, and uh, so let's go out and get this uh, to you. Uh, hats off to the Nishanic Lancers, who played a very inspiring game. They lost 46-27. It was the Laurel Spartans, 47-7 over Elwood. The Union Scotties win 36-22 over Burgettstown. Newcastle Red Hurricane drop another one, 26-20 to Chartiers Valley. And uh, I'll be with that in a second. Freedom, 20-7 over <laughs> Mohawk. Keep in mind, Wilmington plays Farrell. That's next week. And also, the Newcastle Red Hurricane. They'll be in action against Blackhawk 
here at Taggart Stadium, and we'll have the game on. Now, to kind of segue into that, let's talk about the Newcastle Red Hurricane, and let's also talk about the stadiums in Lawrence County. It was appalling to me that Chartiers Valley, and I quote, had no electric. The press box was full, and they didn't have any place else for anybody to set up to do the game. Now, had it been one of the other groups, what would they have done? You have to ask the question. Amid their very unhospitable and very poor management of the stadium, it should be recognized how Newcastle and the other districts in Lawrence County do a remarkable job taking care of our student-athletes. Hats off to the schools in Lawrence County. Now, uh, let's go to the Cedar Sports Corner. We'll be right back. The Cedars Restaurant in Newcastle wants you to indulge in the food from their pleasing menu. The Cedars features Mediterranean, pub food, Middle Eastern cuisine, and so much more. They're open every day, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Call the Cedars on the east side at 827 Addis Street, Newcastle, 724-658-9543. That's 724-658-9543. Hello and welcome to the Cedar Sports Corner. Well, baseball action, let's get that out of the way. Game 4, World Series, Dodgers and Tampa Bay. And now let's go to college football. And uh, this... The first weekend when the Big Ten gets in action. So um, let's just go down the list. Now, of course, I'm going to mention number three Notre Dame at Pittsburgh. That's a 3.30 start on ABC. Let's go Irish. Penn State. Number eight, verse Indiana, 3.30 start, FS1. Next up, you're going to have West Virginia. They're taking on Texas Tech at 5.30, ESPN2. Now your number one Clemson Tigers, and they'll play Notre Dame next week. Syracuse at Clemson, that's a 12 o'clock start. Nebraska at Ohio State, that's a 12 o'clock start. Continuing on in the Big Ten. Rutgers will be at Michigan State, Big Ten Network, 12 o'clock start. Alabama at Tennessee, 3.30 start on CBS. And uh, as you slip into the evening, it will be Michigan at Minnesota, 7.30 start on ABC. Now, in case you choose to stay up late, Air Force will take on San Jose State. That will be a 10.30 start. Also, Texas State will take on BYU. So those are uh, some late games for you. And um, here's hoping you get and uh, watch a little football. Enjoy and remember, I said, go Irish. We're going to take a time out real quick. Glory, 
This program furnished by Sporting Goods, 23 East Washington Street, Newcastle. Call 724-658-2535. This program sponsored by Penn Ohio Bottled Water Company. Brian Chess owner, call 724-498-4760. Brian would be glad to visit. Hi friends, I'm Gary West, and whether you find Augustine's Pizza at your local grocery store, well, the folks at Augustine's Pizza hope that their pizza is always your first choice for any and all occasions. Jim Micko and Sons, 347 East Washington Street in Newcastle, can service a lot of your lawn equipment. It's jimmickoandsons.com, their website. And you can email them at Jim Micko and Sons at Verizon.net. Their phone number 724 652 6911. Proud sponsors of community television in Newcastle. Alley's Upper Crust at 1700 Highland Avenue has a full menu pizza, roll ups, salad, soup sandwiches, strombolis, dinners. They are just great for dine-in or take-out. Don't forget to give them a call at 724-652-7553. It's Allie's Upper Crust. Newswatch rolls on, and we'll be getting the weather shortly. 46 in Lawrence County, Newcastle. Uh, State Police and Liquor Control Enforcement for the week of October uh, the 19th go about uh, doing these checks and uh, almost uh, just uh, amazing to me as uh, we pull through and, uh, wow, that, uh, somehow I missed the state flag. There it is. And there it goes. It's Saturday, folks. 473, six notices, no violations. Yeah, you know, let me just put this out there. You really got to start to open up the economy. We're going to be in a bad way if we don't. Now, um, this is in from five stories Trump doesn't want you to miss. Bach Rain uh, and the United Arab Emirates recognize Israel. Tech censorship is on a dangerous path that the digital signal. The Uni New York Post, Trump is fighting China's ploys to control the UN. Why Operation Warp Speed is a Made in America story, Fox News. So, uh, just... Uh, Take those stories in and uh, look at those other journalistic options. Let's go to a weather. And uh, wow, rain last night really.
just <laughs> unbelievable. They got the games in before everything, and currently outside 46 degrees, 86% humidity. Winds are from the northwest at 8, barometric pressure 30.12, 2.42, visibility 10, and the wind chill 42 degrees. Now, as you take a look out, and here is local radar, pretty clear back through Ohio. That out of Cleveland, here's out of Pittsburgh, same deal. So, uh, things are uh, going to get better slowly today. Let's go to Lawrence County 45 weather, and we'll be back with a wrap. My name is Brittany. Uh, I have suffered with depression for 15 years. My name is Sam, and I've been experiencing depression for over 12 years. Either. This is the first place I will always recommend for somebody to come if they're suffering from depression or anxiety or any kind of problem like that. Easy clean car and van wash. Where your clean wash is our goal. Lindy's lunch. Run it again with hot dogs, fries, burgers, and much more. For the point, two point conversion, try those daily specials. Run right in and you will need a hard to score at Lindy's lunch. Before the game, just right for lunch or anytime. It's Lindy's lunch. 2402 Wilmington Road, Newcastle. BSB. Big Shot Bobs are the wings for me. 50 flavors make it right you see. BSB has sandwiches you have to try. Stop in and you'll know why. Every day of the week you see. Call or stop in to BSB. Big Shot Bobs will be your favorite place. Just like me. Hello <laughs> to Lawrence County 45 weather and uh, hot ziggity zag that. Last night, 45, thunder showers and rain. How is your Saturday looking? Well, here you go, guys. This rain will be moving through. So once this moves through, you're looking at a Okay, day national showing you the same things. So uh, let's get to that forecast. 45 and rain last night. Your Saturday rain clearing out, mostly cloudy. 53 degrees. Saturday night, partly cloudy and 34. It's a cuddle alert. Your Sunday. Sunshine and 54. Sunday night, mostly cloudy, 44. Chance of rain, mess a mess, 50%. Your Monday, sorry there, Karen, mostly cloudy, 58, 70% chance of rain, you're getting wet. And Monday night, mostly cloudy, 40, 70% chance of rain. Moves you into Tuesday, showers will turn off by 9 o'clock. Then you have a chance of showers after 3. Mostly cloudy, 54, 60% chance of rain. That rain's going to hang around and make it just like a little bit miserable. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy, a low of 40. And uh, your Wednesday, partly sunny, 57. Wednesday night, mostly cloudy and 42. And Thursday, Partly sunny with a high of 55. Slight chance of precip on Thursday, but we'll keep an eye out for it. 
Now, this was, you got it, Lawrence County 45 weather. We're going to take a break here from these great sponsors, and we shall return. Boo! Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, except the first Saturday in October, it's a haunted car wash consisting of a $12 ultimate wash, candy, a haunted show, Shows consist of many aeronomic decorations, haunters, and a five-minute movie right before you go into the car wash. So the cost, $20. Don't get out of your car for a spooky good time. Hello, friends, and it's Los Amigos. Uh, let me tell you what, great food. Whether you get the chimichangas, enchiladas, tacos, whatever you get, you're going to love them. The nice, friendly atmosphere. Stop by. Tell them NCTV45 sent you. It's Los Amigos sponsoring this program. Great dining experience. Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. This program sponsored by Lombardo's Apothecary, located at 1230 South Mill Street on the south side of Newcastle. At our law firm, we see you. Come see us at lgkg.com. Special thanks going out to Town Mall Pizza for sponsorship of this program. Located in the Cascade Galleria, Newcastle. There's more than me. That's going to do it for this Saturday, the 24th. Remember, Mass, 4 o'clock today. And thanks for joining us on your Saturday morning. Remember, tell a friend and have a friend tell a friend about NCTV 45. They'll be glad you did. And if they say, hey, I don't watch a lot of TV, you tell them. We're available anytime on your time. Always, always in the pursuit of excellence. It's NCTV 45. Now make sure you get that second cup of coffee and have a super day in what I call the greatest castle in the world in the county of Lawrence. Have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you again real soon.